Fit Fam. What's good? Mick here with another video. But this is gonna be a different video. So at work, I had a senior NCO tell me, hey man, why don't you do some tutorials on each event for the Army Combat Fitness Test? So I thought to myself, you know what? You're right, Sarn. It's all about helping people. So let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. So this new Army Combat Fitness Test consists of six events, which are the strength deadlift, the standing power throw, the hand release push-up, the sprint drag carry, the leg tuck, and the two mile run. Keep in mind, your run is gonna be expected to be a little bit slower after doing all these other events. So don't be discouraged, just keep working hard at it and uh, you guys will be maxing out this Army Combat Fitness Test in no time. So beginning of October 2020, all soldiers will be required to take this test. Right now, they're still refining different aspects of each category. So um, what I wanna do is, I wanna give y'all just a little progression to build your way up to completing each of the categories so that you are successful on this test. Although these uh, events are geared for the military because this is an army event, civilians, y'all can still do this because this is just gonna help build your strength. So I'm gonna do this ACFT and multiple parts uh, is I'm gonna release it as a series but we're gonna go ahead and get into the first category which is the deadlift all right so the first event is the strength deadlift uh, the max range of weight is 120 to 420 pounds don't worry you'll be required to only do three repetitions of your max weight so uh, just keep that in mind. Make sure you understand the, uh, the score chart standards is broken down by your unit demand and your MOS demand. So just make sure y'all understand that score chart. This event is gonna replicate picking up ammunition boxes, wounded battle buddies, or different supplies. So that's why we have this event put in place. So let's go ahead and get started with the progression. So I like to start out with kettlebells. Kettlebells is a, a easy, easy tool to use when you're trying to progress as far as doing these movements. So we're going to do three type of squats. Uh, depending on your strength level, you may just use one kettlebell the whole time, or you could just use two, and then you uh, pick your moderate weight. Make sure you have a moderate weight. Don't try to go all out with the heaviest weight. I'm using 53 pound weights, uh, and let's go ahead and get into the progression. All right, like I said, you can use two kettlebells or one. I'm going to show you with one kettlebell and then I'll move and show you with using two kettlebells. So we're gonna do the closed leg squat. <clears throat> Hopefully y'all can see this. All right, so we're gonna have our legs closed together. Grab your kettlebell and then you're just gonna squat. Nice and slow and easy. That was the closed leg. Then we're gonna do the shoulder width apart or regular squat. Nice and slow. All right. And then we're gonna do the sumo squat. Sumo squat, you're gonna exaggerate the, uh, the width of your legs. Just come out. Preferably hold the kettlebell like this and just come down. Nice and slow. Alright, so now that we did one kettlebell, here's how it looks with two kettlebells. Okay, so you're wondering why I say use kettlebells. Uh, first, I'm gonna say I highly recommend you do not use any squat machines. I say this reason for using kettlebells is it's gonna help strengthen your muscles that stabilize your core because kettlebells are unstable. So 
using kettlebells is going to activate muscles that are used to stabilize your core. So this is why I say use kettlebells because when you're using the trap bar to do your uh, exercise, it's not going to be stable. So kettlebells is going to be the perfect tool to use in order to build your strength. Alright, so now that I showed you the strength progression using the kettlebells, let's move over to the trap bar and I'll show you the actual movement. Keep in mind the, the weight of your trap bar. The trap bar that I'm using right now is 58 pounds and then I just threw on some 35s just to give you all a demonstration. So remember, you're going to do three reps of your max weight. Alright, there you have it. Okay, people, so that's the end of the tutorial. I hope the tutorial was beneficial for you. Uh, I hope that you all max out the Army Combat Fitness Test and just continue to keep working hard and getting stronger at it. And remember, you only got one life, stay home will be great. Love yourself so you can love somebody. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.